I want to spend a few minutes with you as we explore the word and I plead that you lend me your rapt attention because whilst you listen it will be as it were in Acts chapter 10 the Bible says while Peter yet speak these things it says the Holy Ghost fell on all not some on all they that heard him if you believe that shout aloud amen all right please be seated now very quickly I just want to bring to your understanding why we are gathered here it's important that we bring to perspective this meeting so that we know what God is doing and what he intends to do in our lives and I listed down here five five points that represent the goal for this apostolic conference let me just run through them very quickly and please I'd like you to lend me your attention number one that the first goal behind this conference is to birth encounters that lead to genuine repentance and salvation encounters that lead to genuine repentance and salvation number two the second goal is to equip i wrote here to equip believers with the revelation required for a kingdom driven victorious and effective christian life that means that god is going to be handing over to everyone here the requisite revelation that it takes to live a kingdom driven a purposeful a victorious and effective christian life number three i wrote down here to help god's people and indeed the entire territory to experience the liberating power of the spirit through miracles signs and wonders how many of you know that God is already doing mighty miracles in this place yeah. hallelujah that in the course of this conference we must as a mandate experience the liberating power of the Holy Spirit for the Bible declares now the Lord is that spirit and it says where the Spirit of the Lord is there is liberty hallelujah that means for everyone sick here be prepared that soon after now you will be walk away free from that sickness and for every destiny every life every family that has been oppressed hitherto i bring you a word of liberty in the name of jesus christ you will walk out of that captivity in jesus name are we still together number four the fourth goal for this conference listen carefully is to strengthen the hands of the spiritual voices within the territory to strengthen the hands of the spiritual voices within the territory so as to effectively continue the work of the ministry and the advancement of the kingdom in love in unity and power so the fourth goal has to do with ministers of the gospel servants of the Lord Jesus Christ who serve his cause across this territory we have come to strengthen the hands of the body of Christ here for a more effective and efficient work of the ministry finally number five to access the graces and the empowerment required to fulfill God's end time agenda to access the graces and the empowerment required to fulfill God's end time agenda and I hope you know up front let me teach you that God's agenda is divided into three God, God's end time agenda is threefold number one is the global harvest what we call world evangelization please write the end time program of God is threefold number one is world evangelization or the global harvest number two is the maturity or the perfection of the saints this is the second dimension of his end time agenda so the first has to do with bringing those who are unsaved to the fold the second has to do with maturing and perfecting the believers 
according to Ephesians chapter 4 when you begin to read from verse 18 the Bible says that he led captivity captive and then he said he gave gifts unto men. To some he gave apostles and prophets and evangelists, pastors and teachers. He says for the perfecting, the word perfecting there is the maturing of the saints. Are we together? That we now being matured will do the work of the ministry to the end that we come into the fullness of the stature of the measure of Christ. The Bible says, not tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine, nor the slight of men, wherein they lie to deceive. So the maturity, the perfection of the saints is the second dimension of God's end time agenda. Number three is territorial transformation. Territorial transformation. You have to understand that God intends for all these dimensions to be captured. If all these dimensions are not represented in our impact, it is not truly kingdom come. I will repeat myself for emphasis that number one, the first dimension of God's end time agenda has to do with the global harvest. It says the harvest is wide, the field is wide, the harvest is, is plentiful. It says pray that God would send, the Lord of the harvest would send laborers. So the first dimension of kingdom come or kingdom advance or God's end time program has to do with the world evangelization right number two has to do with the equipping the maturity of believers for the bible declares that an heir for as long as he is a child galatians chapter 4 it says he differeth not from a slave are we together and then number three is territorial transformation now i need you to understand that God intends for every society and every territory to feel the impact of the presence of the church. In Matthew chapter 5, when we begin to read from verse 13, he said, ye are the salt of the earth. Jesus is teaching now, ye are the salt of the earth. And he says, if the salt, if, if the salt has lost its saltiness or its savor, he says, Wherein, wherewith shall it be salted? It is good for nothing except to be thrown down and trampled on the foot of men. Then he says, ye are the light of the world. He says, a city that is set on a hill that cannot be hidden. Neither do men light a lamp, it says, and to put it under a bushel, but that it is kept on a lampstand and that it provides light to everyone who is in the room. Verse 16 now says, Therefore, in that similitude, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good deeds, the Bible says, and glorify your Father which is in heaven. So God intends for Manchester, for the United Kingdom, and every territory here represented, to feel the impact of the church. Listen to me. When society does not feel the impact of God as communicated by and through the church, they will never be able to acknowledge the Lordship of the Christ, territorially speaking. Are we together? So this is very important. But for tonight, very quickly, for sake of time, um, Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. God bless you.